wanasifiwe it is good to worship the lord male brosata credia makatara bade kalabra shetere be glory mosi credia thank you amen today i have a testimony this team i think we should have testimony every day amen This testimony I think is good to be told over and over. The people are also telling us when people catch corona and they die. We will also talk of them that are healed. Amen. The journalists say that if it is not bad news, it is not news at all. That's what they say. And we can say if it is not good news, it is not news. <laughs> and uh, amen if it is if it is not good news it is not news so what is to be taught is news good news amen yeah when we went for the other side when we were the other side i think some of you were with us when we were in living faith i met pastor's wife and she says that uh, she has been saying that uh, uh i am sick you know for some of us that word is illegal when you say i am sick this is no pastor i am not feeling well i don't have ability to walk i i told her all those languages i did i'm not able to come I'm still feeling sick. I told her you can walk to the church. We come here every evening. And you look for that problem and you don't find it. I told her when you are sick you go to church. Go to stay in the house. And then I told her be coming. I think you people have seen she, they were coming and sitting behind her. Now yesterday as I was coming from a specific place in Chauriaco I was just passing by and they said we were calling you and then you arrived in and then I asked what is the question what is the reason you are looking for me for if they said we, we were even to look for you kama uko kanisa tutakuja sikwa mko wapi and I asked them now what is the problem they say there's no problem there's testimony we are here Amen. Both of them have testimonies. The lady said that she just gave birth some few months ago. And I know she was feeling so much good in the body. They even took her to Nairobi to look for if she has a problem. You know, there's always sometimes you think I have a problem. I tell her you don't have a problem. She says you know, we have a problem. She sat here a week before I left. They went to Nairobi, checked everything. They could not find anything. No problem at all. How could demon find what God has given? No, it's it doesn't make sense. They went to the best hospital, Aga Khan Hospital, paid 70k. Look for problem, they could not. So yesterday she said, as when I came back, she began coming. I think she's been coming. I don't know if she's been coming here. Yeah. There is this is everything has died that she called the problem amen we didn't pray for her we only told her come and sit here come and sit this we are just coming to look for you tell you i am here and the sister says also ever since i began coming here my life is never the same amen yes that's what you want to see not go to church and come back with your problems i don't know which church is that yesterday radio was saying a structure established in the name of church does not mean it can form the kingdom of god jesus came the bible says the government is on his shoulder and the increase of his government 
has no end. Amen. So, when, when we put a structure like this here, we are establishing the government of heaven in the master beach. So, I was asking a question, why so many churches and no government of God? No influence of the kingdom. And people are relocating in numbers. Does it mean because you put up a structure, God is there? God is not there. I say that one. I have so many questions even. Where are pastors? What are they doing? Why are they sleeping? People must be must experience God if indeed he's there. Amen. We are talking about Christmas. And not all you think about is a bull. They are already budgeting for it. Others are thinking of boozy. Others are thinking of some very good clothes, shoes, and be very smart. Others are thinking about how to empty some crates of tuskers and uh, all this. Yamachoma. <laughs> Is, does it have anything to do with Christmas? <laughs> I'm asking a question. Does it have anything to do with Christmas? Christmas is purely about God introducing his son on earth so that he brings new systems that the world has never known. He is to bring new system that brings to an end the system that is already running on earth which is not of God and to introduce a new system. Like right now in Marsabit, I was asking a question like this. If you are talking about Christmas and you don't have peace and the Prince of Peace came 22,000 years ago and the Prince of Peace came Two thousand years ago. Has Masabit had the gospel? What is the significance of Christmas? If it cannot bring solution to the problems that people have. The day Jesus was born, the angels announced his birth. And they told it, they talked as it, it as glad tidings good news this night a savior is born and they called it good tidings good news is there good news in the master bit when people are dying every day when they are even, even believers are relocating forget about non believers is there good news Will there be Christmas this month, this year? 25th is Christmas. So we eat. We dance around. We it has lost meaning. Christmas has lost meaning. People do not experience God the way God intended in the beginning. We do some religious things that we form for ourselves. We dance the whole day. Sing some Christmas songs. And then, hey, sip me a What is Christmas? Why Christmas? What is the effect of Christmas? Hmm? What is Christmas? Christmas is not this eating and drinking and dressing and all these things. Christmas is a time when God is bringing solution to the problems of man. So if Christmas if Christmas is let me just read chapter number 7 of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter number 7 verse 14. The Bible says Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Now, as I continue talking this, before I move into this, the ministry of healing will be launched in a big way next year in this church. And the people will come here and be healed from HIV, from Diabetes from 
This is announcement. Are you hearing? I'm announcing they are coming in this place to be healed. This day I just get different people calling me. Yesterday we were told somebody wants to us to pray for them. All sheikhs have prayed for them. All people have done. And the lady said, if your God can heal me, I am coming to be healed. That is Christmas. We looked for her. She's coming to church today. Another one this morning, you know, Mama Junior gave me. She says she is like this. And people have rejected her. I told her God loves you. And he will heal you. Why are sick people coming? Let them come now. Amen. Ben Isaac is coming January. The end month. I expected him in April. He says he might uh, fly to US. And he might not come by April. He says I can give you a time. We will make that meeting healing meeting. Amen. That is Christmas. You know I'm trying to explain what Christmas is. Christmas is, you see when Jesus came, the Bible says he healed all the sick. All, no some. All. And that's why in this church, you cannot stay with sickness. We only give you some grace period. Where you nurture that thing for some times, and then we deal with it until it disappears out of your body. Amen. That is Christmas. Sitting with pain in your body and sharing that Christmas. Which Christmas is that? Jesus, when he arrived, the first thing he did is to, the Bible says, wherever he went, he, went, he healed all the sick. And that healing is still real even today. Amen. It is real. That is Christmas. I think, people getting born again, coming back to Jesus in big way. That is Christmas. Not just eating bull and then going to sleep. And the following day you wake up to cook your soup. Still the mood of Christmas is on. 26th. It's not about your stomach. It's about your spirit. It's not about your stomach. It's about your spirit. Amen. The Bible says, have you, the Bible says, you God will give you a sign. This was spoken 700 years before Jesus arrived. Isaiah said, this is the sign that a virgin shall give, shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. A virgin. Did you know that after Jesus was born, Mary remained a virgin? This one is too much. Pastor, what are you talking? You cannot understand naturally unless you become a spiritual man. Huh? Hey, what do you mean? Yes. A virgin gave birth. 700 years. Before Jesus came, it was spoken. And it happened. When the angel came to Mary, she was like, what do you mean? I don't, I'm not married. She says, no. The Holy Spirit, hallelujah, is the doer of the impossible. <laughs> huh? Who is that? The Holy Spirit. How can you have Holy Spirit and you cry around here? That is illegal. Unless you have a fake Holy Spirit. You know fake? Hmm? She was told the Holy Spirit will come, will overshadow you, and you can see. Holy Spirit. And you're joking around with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Is this Holy Spirit? Any vision that you have, the Holy Spirit can make it more visible and more possible. I'm saying Holy Spirit. I'm saying any vision you have, the Holy Spirit can make it so visible, successful, possible. I'm saying Holy Spirit. Many times when God wants to do something, many of us are carnally inclined and we find it very hard to understand. We find it very hard to understand because our mind has been, this is the way our mind has been reprogrammed. 
Did you realize that? Any time your mind is renewed, your problem is over. Meaning, the problem you have is thinking on wrong thoughts. Every time you put the word in, the word strengthens you. No, not strengthens you, it strengthens you. It's English. You know, when you use other ideas of men, you're twisted. You're not twisted. The word wicked means twisted. Sambamba means straight. I mean, Israeli Abashirandula. Straight. When the word of God comes in, it, it straightens everything. And when everything is straightened, everything works out for our good. Amen. So, just a virgin will give birth. A virgin. That is when you know God is there. If impossible things are not happening, God is not with us. Can I repeat that? If things that are not impossible, if the impossible things are happening, God is with us. If we serve God, no, the God of heaven, every time he appears to anybody, he appears doing things that are not natural. Supernatural. Christmas is about supernatural. It's not about natural things. Christmas. It is the time God is coming down in the likeness of man or likeness of man. Can I use that word? God is landing on earth. You know, Adam removed him from the earth by eating forbidden fruit. And the voice of God cannot be accessed anymore. Now the very God who has made heaven and earth, his word, the word of the very one who created the heavens and the earth, has been, is to be put in human flesh and released on earth. How can he be different, the, the same with others? I'm asking. How can he be the same with others? His word put in human flesh and sent here. How can he be the same with others? No wonder he was so unique from his birth. So unique. Ah, I'm saying so unique. From his birth. I mean so unique from his birth. Jesus. So unique. Cannot compare to anybody. His language is different. His perspective about everything is different. He's surprising even his parents. He is more knowledgeable than his parents. What do you think does a natural man know that does not have the word of the, hope, the spirit of God? A natural man. What does he have? A natural man. What does he have? Even if then that natural man is as old as 50 years old. And this one is 20 years. The spirit man. A virgin shall conceive. That is miracle. A virgin shall, shall conceive. That's miracle. A virgin conceive. Our life must be characterized with miracle signs and wonders. I repeat. Our life must be characterized with sign, miracle signs and, and wonders. When people look at us, we should be not compared to any other who are living naturally. We don't live naturally. We live supernaturally. Naturally. The way we think, the way we see things, the way we respond, is different. In line with the word of God. And she shall bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. The word Emmanuel means hmm? 
It means God inside human flesh. That's what it means. God inside human flesh. Im in man human. El God. God inside human flesh. It is what was spoken in Isaiah chapter number 7 verse 14. A virgin shall give birth. Mm -hmm. To a son. That is what John tells us in chapter number 1 of John. The book of John chapter number 1. In the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was verse 14 it says at this point. and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and we beheld we saw just we saw glory how do you see glory <laughs> we saw glory we saw how, how do you see glory yes, we saw and the world was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth we beheld we beheld we saw as yes, we saw he says we saw what nobody could show us when we looked at Jesus. Hmm? Jesus, Jesus, a very unique person on the face of the earth. The same John says in John chapter number one, verse one, first John chapter one, verse one, that which was from the beginning, which we have had which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. Just we have seen. Verse 2 says, For the life was manifested, and we have seen it. Hey. Can you imagine? It says, Life was manifested, and we saw. And be a witness, and show unto you that eternal life which was with the Father. And it was manifest to us. Verse 3. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you. That you may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father. And with his son Jesus Christ. Huh? Just we saw. Just we saw life. How do you see life? <laughs> we saw life manifest. Now. You see. The, John and others were the witness. Of what was happening. He says, I don't know, how can I put it? May we become a wonder in this land. So that they come and see. Like Jesus saw, uh, like John saw. Just we saw, we saw. Tuliona. Says it to me. We saw. Glory. That which was from the beginning. It was spoken about him. Then, in their time, one of the two of generation that is so blessed is our generation that we are in today and the generation that saw Jesus physically. Those two generations are so blessed. This ours is blessed because we are not going to die. We are going to go to heaven alive. Are you aware Jesus is coming soon? Hmm? We will see him with our eyes. And then we disappear with him in the heavens. I don't know that yet how it will look like. Did you come out to Tajuana? Hmm? We will just appear in the, in the sky. We will just join him. And the time is short. Very short. Last year we had it is 10 years. In Mombasa we are told if it is so much, it is 20 years. And it is true. It is true. 
He said, Jesus is coming. We have seen until today. But you was waiting ignorantly without understanding the evidence in the scriptures. What I'm saying is us, this generation is so blessed. And the generation that saw Jesus physically will be translated from this mortal body to an immortal body. Within twinkling of an eye disappear and we'll be with him we'll join him in the sky them that died before us were believers they join him first and then we're going to join him so I am trying to guess how that day will look like Imagine seeing Jesus physically like this. It's not far. It is not far. It's not far from now. It's not far. Repair. Don't think you're going to live here forever. It's not far. It is nearer than you think. So we are saying our generation is blessed. So blessed. To see this Jesus physically. Then that saw him in his time. When he was walking on the earth. They, they are like, wow. Have you seen? Might be the only, only politicians look something like Jesus. Eh? When they move around, the whole congregation are drawn to them. When they hear Baba and Ruto, the whole town is following after them. But Jesus could gather more crowds than these people. Why? Why? Why do you think? He's so magnetic. He is not just like any other person. It's not like any other person. Sometimes he hides. They look for him. Where is he? Master, where did you go? Chapter 6 of Mark. They ask him around verse 30. Says, where did you go? Where he told his disciples, let's move also to the other towns. We're not only, we didn't only come to serve this town. We came to serve other towns also. There are sick people elsewhere. Not only here. Next year, our healing ministry has to rise in Jesus' name. We have to make it so real. I'm saying, we have to make it so real. Let them come, let them come. The HIV ones, the cancer ones, the diabetes one, the, which other one? The blood pressure ones. Uh-huh. Which are the terminal disease that you know? Which terminal disease do you know? Or you're all born again? You don't know that there's terminal disease. It's not terminal disease. Your tongue can terminate any sickness. That's according to the word. Doctors tell us terminal. Because they are they are physically looking at the problem. And we are killing the spirit behind it. <laughs> eh? and we'll that is Christmas. And this Mushereke Kidogo, like when Benaiza came here. Everybody was healed and like, hey! There was a whole celebration here. Not feeling your stomach and going to sleep. And then wait for another 25th of December to slaughter another bull. I think there should be difference. I don't know if you But we need to think something outside what is commonly happening that has made the celebration of Christmas ineffective. 
we need to think outside the box. I remember some years back, after Christmas, they take us to conference to crusades in town. What happened to those days? I'm always there when I'm going retire. I'm going to retire. I'm I remember those days when they take us out and we go and preach. Let's wait for the, the guys, the JCC guys, they're coming for oh, yes conference. This is guys, two guys, two strong men are coming, coming, are coming, coming. <laughs> two strong men are coming. Those are men of missions. Huh? When they come here, let's, let's, let's hear, let's hear the anointing of, you know, we all carry almost the same anointing now. Even I, I also carry some that lie has. So let them, that we are speaking three on this book from 27th to 31st. That is Monday to Friday. Yeah, we will be here. We'll be speaking to us. At least something has to, to be born within us. You know, if Lai, Pastor Lai, has made sure that demons of Islam have died, we can tap into the same spirit and kill the demons of Islam in this land. Yes, power. There's ability to stop this. So if we talk about Christmas, it's not about eating and drinking. It's the word in you. It's the word in you. The word became flesh. We were talking of Jesus as the word became flesh. Now we talk about you today that you are the word that became, I'm saying you. Today you are the one. You are the word in the flesh. I repeat, today you are the word in the flesh. You. You are the word in the flesh. Look at him. He took enough time to saturate himself with the word from his tender age until he stood up. And that's why they were seeing what they could not see with any other human being on the face of the earth. He's the only unique man in his time. Nobody can compare to him. I mean nobody. Nobody. I think the way he, I don't know how to explain it to you. <laughs> what made him unique? Enough of the word in him. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds. We need to tell this Marsebit Christians who are always cutting down bull and fooling their stomach. It's not about feeding your stomach. It's about filling your spirit, your heart with the word of is about when the word is full in your spirit, all problems disappear. Some things you look and you don't find. Like Mili was saying, I don't know when I got here, but I am free. How can you carry the word in you and then sickness at the same time? It does not work. It does not go that way. You need to have enough of the word in you until everything, everything begin working for you. I repeat. You have to have enough of the word until everything begins working for you. And every problem in your life has to be to do what? To live. You need to live up peaceful life. You know what a peaceful life is? Peaceful. A life full of health. You can sleep like Jesus in a bottle that is full of water. When that bottle was almost sinking, the water was full inside and he was sleeping. 
don't ask me how he slept i don't know and they were screaming not screaming they would re- can you be like that when the storms are hitting from every corner is still is not a way of danger danger is a way of him i think that one, that is that the way around <laughs> is that the way around it's not this other way around can canally inclined men people who are natural are always seeing danger danger when the world is full in you but the most dangerous thing around there's no danger for you in any way it doesn't matter whether there is insecurity in marsabit you are so secure you are so protected that you have no fear you know no fear somebody told you standing me they were, they came to they wanted to ban he, he can say a pastor lie these muslims they wanted to ban they came and then when they arrived there they saw fire everywhere everywhere fire already that name to make a rudi he didn't even know which fire that is <laughs> <laughs> which fire is that? <laughs> I was asking which fire is that? <laughs> If you only know the fire that is on you that people who want to finish you will see and disappear for their life. Even when people are running in security and they are running out of this town you are shaking up. You have security that is more sure than the one of the government they are all over you i think that that's one of these days we need to learn about angels not be one man it's needful we learn about angels so that you're not going to run around like others who don't have those angels if elisha has angels of fire all over and he's just sleeping you know you see i don't see the physical and then the the physical armies of Syria have already those people have surrounded the house the guy is just sleeping and the people are all over he knows they have come if the man is if the man knows that if the man knows what they are planning in their bedroom from his sitting room is he not aware that they were coming he could tell the king of Israel this is you see they're speaking in his bedroom the the bedroom of the king planning against Israel and then he says they have said this don't use that route they are waiting for you there they went and sat there the whole day there's nothing from not and they said i think let's try this other route they told them now they have changed the other one make sure you're not going there and then they they stayed there the whole day <laughs> nothing is happening <laughs> and then the king asked who is this that is giving our secret out who is this the somebody god elisha go and catch catch for him for me go and bring arrest and bring him here you arrest who elisha you will be arrested my friends <laughs> i don't know if you know who you are Huh? Go and arrest. KDF was released. To come and catch this guy. The man was he knows when they were leaving, when they were coming. Gehaz I saw when they arrived. Elisha saw them before they came. That they are coming. Elisha didn't tell him they are coming. You know there's some things we don't tell people. Some These are defeated people. When they arrived, this other man was like, hmm? we are finished. They are all over this place. The man saw even before this guy saw. Elisha saw it. Those angels, says, when his eyes were opened, he saw chariots of fires that cannot be seen with physical eyes. All over them. This very real event today. very real all you need is enough of the word of god inside you enough 
you become the the word became flesh you you need to have enough of the word of God inside you I have seen people always struggling crying anxious always worrying about everything believers many of the people that come to me even this week some took this came and said pastor to corner stress to corner stress this is stress in any you don't have the word if you know the if you have the word you know how to deal with everything the word of god is everything how can i put it the word of god gives you solution to all problems the only human beings on the face of the earth who don't know stress depression problem and they only know peace are them that have enough of the word you keep them in perfect peace then they stay their mind on you Isaiah 26 verse 2 just you keep them in perfect peace them that stay their mind on them that stay their mind on you and they trust in you the Bible says and they trust in other words when you stay your mind on the word and you feed your heart with the word I think sometimes back I was saying one of the mornings we said that uh, what you don't have how do you have it? feel the word in your heart the word will bring what you don't have don't go around looking for it You'll be frustrated. Sit somewhere, fill your heart with the word. If the word is in your heart, concerning whatever you want, that thing will come. You want a wife? Some of you are not, your eyes have not been opened. Just fill your heart with the word. <laughs> Like, uh, like Adam, you just find around. Oh, she's already arrived. <laughs> you just open his eyes and he saw, oh, she's here. And he began smiling. And, uh, Stop being anxious. Fill your heart with the word. <laughs> what does he want? Fill your heart with the word. And without you realizing, those things will be there. The word. Jesus took enough time over 30 years feeding his heart with the word. That's why even when he began ministry he didn't begin looking for things like many of us. He began by preaching. And the people that has what he needs people who have these people that have what he needs come where he is. That is powerful. All you need to work on is your heart. Not to be troubled with what you don't have. I repeat. You need to fix your heart with the word. You need to fix your heart with the word. I repeat. You need to fix your heart with the word. And the word is enough to bring you all that you need. If your mind has been renewed by the word and your heart has been settled, one of the things that happens when you just give yourself to the word and refuse to worry, your heart will be settled. If your heart is settled, everything good comes to them that are settled in their heart. Not people who are worrying who are crying. People who worry, people who are anxious, people they never find God. That's why he says peace. When somebody is troubled, he says peace. Because you only find good things when you are at peace 
with yourself and with God. When you don't have peace as a person, you don't have peace with God. You don't have peace with God if you're disturbed. You don't believe God, that is what it means. So if we are talking about Christmas, Christmas is about the word of God. It's nothing else. It's the day the word was born on earth. It's the day the one that makes everything better for all humans. Which is the word, nothing else. Came on earth. Christmas is the word became flesh. Now God is dwelling among us. Emmanuel. God with us. God with us simply means his word in us. His word in us means God with us. So God is equal to his word. So if his word is in you, he is in you. If his word is not in you, he is not. I know the Bible says our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That is that thing began when that thing is a is a fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy. This one where we are, we are told that we are the temple of, of God. is a fulfillment of this. Now God can come and dwell in us. If you receive his word and live by his word, what does it mean? You have him in all areas of your life. And your life will be different from others. You can live exactly the way Jesus lived on earth. I can repeat this. You can live exactly the way Jesus, Jesus lived. You can do the miracles he has done. You can have the peace that he has had. You can have the victory that he has had. Hmm? As he is, so are we in this world. That's chapter number one of first twenty chapter number four verse twenty and twenty. As he is, so the very word that he operates by, he gave it to us. The very way he thought, he has given us the material that will cause us to think like he did. What don't we have? The very Holy Spirit that he had, now we have. I mean, now we have. If Jesus was not born, there would be no Holy Spirit on earth, just like in the Old Testament. But not the Holy Spirit with, with us. We have the word. Our responsibility is one. To fix our heart with enough of the word. Sometimes I even look at Bible school, Bible, uh, Bible lecturers or Bible. One who was talking to us. He is a joker, my friends. My friends. Not the way he's explaining things, and you just look at this man. My God. Some of us are too spiritual. He's explaining some things. Just jokingly laughing around, and. And the truth is, he's teaching. He has masters in divinity, he's two years old. But you know, just, just, just going to the Bible school does not mean that the word is in you, it might be academics. It's only academic. That's information that you have put in your head. 
which has not been transformed or trans- transported into their heart. I realize nobody can reach a point where he says, I have now enough of the world. Every now and then God is opening your eyes to see more and more and more and more. The more you mature, the more you begin seeing even the scriptures you used to know in a different picture, in a different light. The more you grow. And the more this light grows in you, the glorious your life becomes. When we came on earth, they have told us the information that will help us. The one that we went to. Until college, we studied university. Does that make your life better? That will only avail food on the table. It will not make your life well. Even that food on the table today is not even being seen. So many people are unemployed. Even that one is not bringing food. But the word brings food and it makes everything available for you. I repeat. Until we see. I'm not saying that the education we have got is, is bad. No. I'm saying the word of God makes it better. At least you are a bit enlightened because you went to college. University. But many people are suffering. A lady committed suicide the other day, just on Wednesday, in Mombasa, in Tum. The father has a big job. The mother is a lecturer. And they divorced. And she felt if they divorced, I don't have no reason to live. She has everything she needs. But the parents, I asked, which child do they got this year? It's as good as non-believers. I've had a student taking her life. Of course, the parents could not stay together. They're fighting always. But they have money. If it is earning, they earn. Sometimes I hear stories of people who have PhDs, permanent head damage, they call it. I think it's really permanent head damage because even with PhD, your families are still scattered. It's permanent head damage. You could, you cannot put, because you cannot put your life together, you cannot put your family's life together. So with all PhD, you call doc, you are called doctor. I don't know what your doctor is. Eh? You have information that does not help you put your family together. Enjoy life together. So this is what we have been told. That if you get more of degrees, masters, I'm also studying. I will be studying next year. I want to do masters. Leadership and management. I'm not saying it's bad. But when there is no word, that information from that side, what people give you as they lecture, to, as they lecture you, it cannot make life better. So when you talk about Christmas, we are talking about celebrating the world. Having it more in our life so that we have a glorious life. Having the perspective of the word of God. Father, we are thankful in Jesus' name. We honor your name for your word. It's light. It's life. We have had it. We have got it. And we will have more of it even as we think on it every day. The year 2022, we want to go deeper like never before. I mean deeper. Deeper. I mean deeper like never before. Let your wisdom prevail in us through this word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.